Hello everyone, Zaid from Z Security here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to become fully invisible on the internet. Now before we get into the video, please make sure you smash that like button if you're enjoying my videos. This will tell me that you're enjoying my content which will make me make more content. It will also tell YouTube that you're enjoying my videos which will make them recommend my videos to more people. Also, I'm giving away free course to one of you guys to enter. All you have to do is like the video and subscribe to the channel and we will announce the winner on our social media accounts. Now let's see how to become anonymous. So let's get real. It's practically impossible to be fully invisible on the internet. By design, everything you do gets logged. For example, let's say you're trying to access a website, for example, google.com. Your data passes through a number of hops. It passes through your internet service provider and then it reaches its destination. So all of these stops can actually analyze what you do and log what you do and profile you. Not to mention government agencies and hackers that can actually intercept these connections and intercept your data and again read it, log it, analyze it and profile you. So the goal is usually to protect our privacy and anonymity as much as possible and make it as difficult as possible for other entities to gather information about us and track us and profile us. So for the rest of the video, I'm going to show you the most important points that you want to keep in mind and the most important things that you need to learn in order to protect your privacy and anonymity. Now, this is a huge topic. It is impossible for me to cover it in one video. I actually have a full course, which is about 11 hours of content to teach you how to protect your privacy, anonymity and access the dark web. So I'm going to go through the main points in this video. If you don't understand anything or you feel like you need to learn more about a specific point, then Google is your best friend. Go ahead and do some research on it. Or if you want, you can get my course if you don't want to spend time researching. So first of all, the main thing that you want to do is make sure that your connection to the Internet is private. So like I said, when you access any websites or do anything on the internet, you want to make sure that the data that you send and receive is private. Doing that is simple enough. You can simply use a plugin such as HTTPS everywhere. This will make sure that all the connections are done over HTTPS, which means that all of your data is going to be encrypted. Therefore, even though it's going to pass through a number of hops, and even though we know that it is possible for government entities and for hackers to intercept these connections, they will be able to read our data, but our data is going to be encrypted it's going to be gibberish therefore it's going to be useless to them now this will ensure that your connection is private but you're still not anonymous the servers and the websites that you communicate with will still be able to see your location so if you want to protect your anonymity then you should use an anonymizing network a very popular one is the Tor network or the onion router Tor works by first of all encrypting your traffic and then it randomly selects three nodes or three computers out of the network, which contains a lot of computers. And then it first passes your data through these three nodes before sending it to the destination. Now the Tor network is free and open for everybody. Therefore, at any point of time, lots of people might be using this network and lots of people might be using the three nodes that you are using. Therefore, even if someone manages to compromise this network and analyze what's happening in it, it would be very difficult to separate what you do from the traffic generated by all of the other people that are using the same three nodes. You can also use a VPN. So the VPN again will first add another layer of encryption to your data and it'll send it to a middle server that could be anywhere in the world. And then from there, your data will go to the destination. Again, this adds another layer of encryption and hides your identity. And you can even use Tor and a VPN at the same time for extra protection. 
Last but not least is security. So even if you're using a great anonymizing network, you're bouncing your traffic through a number of servers and you're using all sorts of encryption to protect your privacy, if somebody manages to gain access to your computer, everything you're doing is useless because they can de-anonymize you very easily. Therefore, if you're serious about protecting your privacy and anonymity, it's very important that you use a secure operating system. So you should really consider moving away from Windows and OS X. These operating systems are not very secure and they also log a lot of data about you anyway. Linux would be a great option that balances between security, privacy, and ease of use. But if you really want to protect your privacy and anonymity, consider using an operating system that is designed for that purpose, such as Tails OS. This is a live and amnesic operating system that you can boot from a USB stick. Once you reboot, it removes everything. It routes all traffic through the Tor network to protect your privacy and anonymity. And it actually comes with a lot of really useful privacy tools. If you really want to take your security to the next level, then I highly recommend looking up Cubes OS. This is an amazing operating system that is designed from the ground up to be very, very secure. It separates everything into different domains and everything runs into separate virtual machines that cannot really interfere with each other. It has really cool features such as disposable virtual machines to run suspicious files, vault machines to store sensitive files, a Hunix gateway to route all traffic through the Tor network, and so much more. You should also always be aware and smart with what you do on the internet. So it doesn't make sense that you follow everything that I said so far and then you go and log into your Gmail or Facebook account that already contains all of your information, your friends and the previous locations that you used to log into these accounts. That'll jeopardize everything. So you want to be smart with the services that you use from your email services to instant messaging to search engines, pretty much everything you do on the internet. You need to think twice about it and try to move to more privacy focused solutions. For example, instead of using Gmail, use ProtonMail or even use a dark web email provider that is more private and more secure. I'm only using Gmail here as an example, but this goes for all of the services that you usually use on the internet. So like I said, from instant messaging to downloading and uploading and even social networks, you want to be very smart with what you do. And you should also think twice about the information that you share on the internet. Think about the people that you communicate with, the way you type your emails. All of these things can be used as clues and pieced together in order to de-anonymize you. Like I said, it is impossible to be 100% invisible. All we're trying to do is protect our privacy and anonymity as much as possible and make it as difficult as possible for others to track us and de-anonymize us. It's simply a matter of how much time, money, and effort they want to invest into tracking you and de-anonymizing you. Now, I hope I didn't miss anything major. These are the main points that you want to look for, in my opinion. Like I said, use Google to learn more about any of these points. I'm sorry I couldn't dive too deep into any of them. Or check out my course if you want to learn more. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated with the latest in cybersecurity and see you in the next video.